guys are having an awesome day. Today we're going to be building Chode, but let's get right into it and build this guy. Starting off with the arms, let's pop the left arm in, if we can get it to go in. There we go, that popped in like butter. Let's do this right arm, that also pops in like butter. Let's do the legs, let's do the left leg first. It's a little tough but it pops in like butter. Let's do this right leg. Oh, that one went in super easy. Let's do the head. Bam, there we go. For Chode's accessories, sadly, he only comes with one accessory. I wish Chode could have came with like a alternate set of fisted hands, his gun, his sword, but all Chode needs is his little buddy. The red paint on the eyes looks awesome. For his articulation, he has basic head swivel. He has a good amount of head tilt. Head doesn't look down any, but head looks pretty far up. And let's take a closer look at Chode. There's Chode all put together. This is probably one of my favorite X-Men builder figures that I have completed. He does reuse the Abomination body mold. At first, I thought the arms were pinless, but when I was looking at the inner arm area i saw the pins the knees are not pinless as well for his hip area those remind me of the older marvel legend hip joints hasbro killed the chode head sculpt low the red and black paint application for the eyes looks awesome couldn't ask for a better paint job there's like this black wash happening at the forehead area that goes down to like the lip area or the top lip area. The white paint application for the teeth looks awesome other than some spots didn't get a good paint job like other spots did. There is some sculpted detail for the inside of Cho's mouth. I wish there was a little bit more of sculpted detail. But the black paint application for the tongue looks awesome. Other than there's a smidge of green paint bleeding through. For his fins, those are a rubbery material. And I like how there's some like green highlighting happening at the edge. For the back of Chode, there's some bumps happening. For this spine piece, the greenish yellowish paint application looks awesome it's not messy or anything it's not going on to the darker green part of chode and i think this area of chode is a separate piece from the rest of the torso area because this is like a hard plastic and this is like a rubbery ish plastic material there's a bunch of bumps at the front of Chode. For this area of Chode's body, I forget what this area is called, but there is green highlighting happening. I wish there was more green highlights throughout this figure. There's some more green highlighting happening at the shoulder area. There's some more bumps on Chode's bicep area. Chode's belt piece is brand spanking new. To me, the red area for the belt reminds me of like a leathery material because there's a bunch of wrinkling happening. The gold paint application for the buckle piece looks awesome. Doesn't look messy or anything. It's not going on the red where it shouldn't be. For the crotch piece, there's a bunch of wrinkles. For his feet, there is some more green highlights. He does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. And there is some more green highlights for the hands. For the fins, for the lower forearm area, those are also a rubbery material. And I like how these ones also have a green highlight at the end of them or like the edge of them. But that is it for looking at Chode. Chode's articulation. He looks up a good amount. Looks pretty far down. 
head does a basic 360. For the arms, they go that far out. Basic bicep swivel, single jointed elbows. For the hands, basic hand swivel. Hands go that far out, they go that far in. The arms do a basic 360. For his mouth, it goes that far down. For the ab crunch, it goes that far forward. Goes that far back. He has waist swivel. For the legs, he kicks that far forward. His legs go that far out. He doesn't kick back any. He has thigh swivel. Single jointed knees. For the feet, they go that far down, that far up, and feet side to side. And that is it for Chode's articulation. And here is all the figures together to build Chode, which is Monet, Kid Omega, Corsair, Chamber, Cyclops, Emma Frost, and Fang. Let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite figure out of this wave. For some builder figure comparisons, here is the Cassie Lang figure next to Chod. And here is the controller figure next to Chod. Here is Thanos next to Chod. And here is Apocalypse next to Chod. Big boy comparisons. Here is Marvel's Universe Galactus next to Chod. And here is McFarlane DC Multiverse Dark Side next to right, Chod. Guys, that's going to be it for this review today. I would appreciate it if you guys hit the big red thumbs up button. Comment down below what figures you guys would want me to review next. And also, comment down below... Do you guys think this Build-A-Figure Chode figure is worth it? And will you guys be completing it? But stay tuned for the next review.